Hello. In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Writing Equivalent Rational Expressions with Polynomial Denominators. We're asked to fill in the blank to make equivalent rational expressions. And to do so, we're going to need to find the numerator on the right-hand side. But to get us started looking at the denominator, we can see that on the left, we have the y minus 1. But on the right, we want to rewrite it so that there's still the y minus 1, but also a y plus 8. So what I'm going to do is take the denominator on the left-hand side, and I would like to introduce multiplying by y plus 8. And to do so, we can multiply the denominator by y plus 8 and still have an equivalent fraction, as long as I also multiply the numerator by y plus 8. And the reason that we can do this and still have an equivalent fraction is because multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same thing, here y plus 8, is the same as multiplying by 1. So y plus 8 divided by y plus 8 is 1. We're multiplying by 1, and multiplying by 1 isn't going to change our fraction. It's still going to be equivalent. And in the numerator here on the left-hand side, I have 3y times y plus 8, I would need to distribute the 3y so that I would first have 3y times y. That would give us 3y squared. And then I would also need to multiply the 3y times the 8. So the 3y times 8 would give us a plus 24y. And now that we've distributed the 3y to both terms, we have found the expression that would need to be on the right-hand side. It would be this 3y squared plus 24y. 